divine peace and blessings. People often ask why I um, prefer the Egyptian or Kemetic tarot out of all the tarot decks. And I decided I would make a brief video and attempt to introduce to some and reintroduce to others the Egyptian tarot deck and why I prefer it above other tarot decks. Uh, one is obviously for its cultural and spiritual significance and connection to the ancient Kemetic or ancient Egyptian society, culture, and religion. I find it to be a wonderful balance and synchronicity of symbolism, divine symbolism, as well as spiritual symbolism and elemental symbolism at its most basic level. Earth, water, fire, air, and spirit or ka. So I prefer it um, above all others, one because of that connection, but also because of the synchronicity and fluidity of the symbolism, the combination of astrology as well as the numerology involved in the tarot deck. Uh, any question can be asked and gained response to via the Egyptian tarot. The cup symbolism represents those things as they connect to emotion, as they connect to the moon, as they connect to water, knowledge, those things that follow uh, a season of cleansing, purification, and rebirth. The wand often is representative of intellectual, worldly control, um, knowledge as it is manifest in our daily activities and our daily routines and our daily belief systems as they manifest as part of our overall reality. Uh, these are the things that uh, sometimes are relegated to subconscious or unconscious um, as they are not seen to have often voluntary or direct um, controls, but they tend to be who we are um, in a crunch what manifests when we are challenged, when we are under some sort of stress. The pentacle of the coin represents those things which are in the realm of earth, which are in the realm of material, uh, typically health, finances, those things which are movable and changeable within our earth realm and our ability to uh, do something about it uh, in one way or another in, in a much more readily available way than, say, spirit or emotion or uh, the metaphysical realm, which those of you who are familiar with my understanding know that I truly believe and the comedic people, the ancient Egyptians, truly taught and understood that the spirit realm is indeed more real, more relevant more tangible than our physical realm. Our physical realm is just such a powerful illusion as it is symbolized by Satan being cast out of heaven in the Christian mythology, uh, the most vain, the most beautiful, the most creatively uh, gifted of all God's created angelic host and then given her to dwell. Um, so there is, for those of you who can relate, and to that interpretation, uh, there is the sound of truth and vibration to what I am speaking on right now, present in that teaching. So um, the pentacle, the coin, is often representative of those things within the earth realm, within our immediate realm of change, possibility, and expectation. The sword often representative of justice, both earthly justice, legal system, uh, court system, police, but also um, 
of divine or a more spiritual line of justice. So once you basically get those uh, most basic and specific understandings of the tarot deck, uh, you will begin to be able to interpret and read for yourself, of course, as always with the assistance of spirit. Truly, uh, we could all learn systems. Uh, there are, are uh, professional card players, professional domino players who know every mark, every card in the deck. And so learning systems is one thing. Being able to apply and interpret is another. It is quite another. So when the uh, cup is present, and this is not a real reading, I'm just um, placing cards here just so I can have a tool guide by which to uh, teach from. Uh, my first card here is a stack of cups. For instance, we have two of cups where you are now incorporating numerology along with the symbolism of the two of cups. And two is often a defensive number as opposed to a three or offensive number. Um, it generally is representative of two main forces, male and female, hot and cold, light and darkness coming together to build and create that which is manifest within our temporal reality. So two of cups often represents the beginnings of things associated with emotion, love and relationship, finances, uh, prosperity, as well as cycles, as our planet is governed by the daily cycle and monthly cycle of the moon, as the woman is guided by the cycle of the moon and the ocean and the water. There is an interconnectedness there that is speaking when the cups are present in a tarot reading or specifically a comedic tarot reading. Um, here we have what I call the master cards, which do not correlate specifically to the four uh, tarot families, the cups, the swords, the wands, the pentacle or the coin, but represent master lessons, as it were, or very specific uh, philosophical, spiritual, metaphysical um, subject matter, which is then applied directly to the Quran. We call the person who is requesting a reading the Quran or the subject of the reading. Uh, here we have the hermit, which could be interpreted as one going within, discovering those things within that bring about understanding, empowerment, and wisdom. Up next to it, we have the chariot, which is symbolic in Kemetic or ancient Egyptian symbolism of movement, of progression, um, not only with the seasons as we know them, because understand that. <coughs> Excuse me. Ancient Egypt had a different system of seasons and a different type of seasons, being a arid, dry, uh, uh, desert uh, area with patches and areas of lush uh, springs and waters, which broke from which life could then be built upon. There was the annual flood of the Nile, so the chariot represents those changings, those forces which move from one thing to another, bringing both good and evil into our lives, into our existence. Uh, the king of pentacles here would be representative of, not necessarily uh, the man, but the principle of masculinity as it relates to the realm of physicality. Uh, I often teach uh, in opposite of our Christian, Islamic, Judaic teaching that God is Father Sky and Mother is Earth. And indeed, that duality does exist uh, as we have.